is another section with Miss Love. I'm going to start first of all with a song, and the song says, If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it that you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm sure my friends are happy. So we're going to do pronouns with Miss Love. Pronouns. Our last section was on noun. And we said a noun is a naming word. It names a person, animal, place, or thing. Today, we're going to go to pronouns. What is a pronoun? Mm, are you sure you're ready to tell me what a pronoun is? Let's look at the board. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that can replace a noun. It takes the place of a noun or a noun phrase in a sentence. A noun or a noun phrase in a sentence. So a pronoun has a lot of strength. If it comes and meets the noun sitting on the chair, it can lift the noun out of the chair and take the seat. Let's look at the next slide. For example, let's talk about a noun. And what's the noun we're going to talk about today? We're talking about a boy called David. David is a boy. David is eight years old. David is dark in complexion. David is tall and handsome. David has a brother and two sisters. David's family is great. Boring. We are going to replace David with different pronouns. And you will tell me how it sounds. We are going to replace the noun with the pronoun. David is a boy. He is eight years old. He is dark in complexion. He is tall and handsome. He has a brother and two sisters. His family is great. Isn't that sentence interesting? I think it is. Now, you're going to do some activities. Replace the name David with your name. Write a composition about yourself. Do not use your name all through. Miss Love is tall. Miss Love is dark. Miss Love is beautiful. Miss Love is, oh, it's so boring. Miss Love is a woman. She is dark. She is tall. She is beautiful. She has a wonderful family. Now we're going to look at the types of pronouns. The types of pronouns. The three common types of pronouns are one, the subject pronoun, two, the object pronoun, and three, the possessive pronoun. What is a subject pronoun? A subject pronoun acts as the subject in the sentence. So what is the subject? Mathematics, English, science, geography? No. In English language, the subject refers to a thing or a person that is being discussed, described, or dealt with in the sentence. For example, David is playing in the park. David is playing in the park. What is the subject in that sentence? Mm. The answer is David. I'm sure some of my nice friends got the answer. So if you know you got the answer, give yourself a sound clap, another one, and an anchor. 
So well done. We go to the examples of the subject pronouns. The examples of the subject pronouns are I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Example, David ate the pizza. The subject there is David. We need to replace the subject with a pronoun. And what's the pronoun? The pronoun is he. So the sentence is he ate the pizza. The noun David is replaced by the pronoun he. What is an object pronoun? An object pronoun acts as the object in the sentence. So what is an object? An object is a person or a thing that is being affected by the action of the verb in the sentence. For example, David is playing in the park. David is playing in the park. What is the object in the sentence? The object is the park. That is where David is playing. So the object is the park. The object pronouns are me, him, her, if, us, you, and them. For example, David ate the pizza. David ate the pizza. What is the object in this sentence? The pizza. So we're going to replace it with a pronoun. And what is the pronoun? David ate it. The article and the noun have been replaced by a pronoun. And what is this pronoun? It. We go to the third type of pronoun, which is the possessive pronoun. The possessive pronoun shows who owns something. Who owns something? What are the possessive pronouns? The possessive pronouns are mine, his, hers, it's, ours, yours, and theirs. The possessive pronouns are not followed immediately by a noun. They stand alone. For example, that pizza is David's. That pizza is David's. Which means the pizza belongs to David. But we don't want to use the name David. So we need to replace the name with a pronoun. So we'll say that pizza is his. If the pizza belongs to me, I will say that pizza is mine. Which means I don't need a noun to add to it. Before I go, friends, I'm going to leave you with this. And what is that? When writing, always make sure that you know to which now a pronoun refers to. Thank you very much for the time. See you next time. It's Pronouns with Miss Love. Bye, friends.